The God Titan has the combined powers of a cameraman, speaker man, and TV man, making him the ultimate Titan. I'll be surviving a hundred days as the God Titan in Minecraft, using my new powers to destroy the Skibbity Toilet Army and command the Alliance. As I do this, I'll upgrade into bigger and stronger forms. Will I be able to fulfill my destiny and defeat the Dark Titan, or will evil prevail? You'll have to watch until the end to find out. On day one, I spawned in as a baby god titan, surrounded by the titan cameraman, speaker man, and cinema man. Welcome, Max. You are a combination of all of our powers, destined to defeat the ultimate evil. Ultimate evil? Who's that? Suddenly, clouds gathered in the sky as the Dark Titan arrived to destroy the city. At long last, I'll defeat the only thing that stands in my way. Goodbye, God Titan. The Dark Titan jumped down with his weapons ready, but together, all three of the Alliance members sprang to my defense. They each fought the Dark Titan with all of their might. The Dark Titan was strong, and the three Titans seemed unstoppable. <sighs> Let's see how you three fare against my true power! The Dark Titan unleashed a strange energy onto the Titans. When it made contact, they disappeared. The only one left standing was the Cinema Man. Find the TV woman. She will help you. The Cinema Man then got sucked into the black hole, causing him to vanish as well. No! Seize the God Titan. Don't let him get away. Dark Skibbity Toilets came swarming after me, and I ran while I still had the chance. On day two, I was on the run from the Dark Skibbity Toilets until I was cornered. Nowhere else to run, Wonder Boy. No, I can't die here. Suddenly, I felt a surge of energy shoot through my body, causing me to unleash my godly power. The smite attack blasted through the toilets, killing them instantly. Whoa. This power is amazing! I pushed a button on the wall to continue moving, but when I made it through, a large dark hacker skibbity was waiting to stop me. It looks like your powers are developing. We need to end this now. The large enemy used his hacker arrow attack on me for big damage. I tried to defeat him with my smite powers, but he was 10 times stronger than the other toilets I had just defeated. Any last words? Don't underestimate the Alliance. Just as I thought I was done for, the TV woman arrived and used her red screen fire powers to eliminate the dark hacker Skibbity. More coming. Let's move. On day three, the TV woman took me to the top of a skyscraper. There, a glowing fragment was waiting for us. What is that? As if by instinct, I approached the fragment and grabbed it, causing my body to transform. I grew bigger in size and gained five more hearts, as well as new powers. What you have there is a god fragment. There are five more scattered around the city, and you need to find them to unlock all of your powers. Then I know what I need to do. I don't know what happened to the other titans, but while they're gone, I'll win this war. I'm afraid I can't let that happen. To our horror, the dark titan appeared on the skyscraper and looked down onto us. Your little plan ends here. Hope you have a nice fall. He used a massive attack that exploded at our feet. The shockwave of the blast sent me and the TV woman flying off the edge and plummeting down towards the pavement below. So long, God Titan! On days four through seven, we were falling from the sky and luckily landed in a valley of water below. Whoa, that was lucky. Not lucky enough. The Dark Titan landed on a dam above us and began smashing into it. He's breaking the dam. We'll drown. We gotta move, now. With one final blow, the Dark Titan smashed through the dam, causing water to flood down towards us. The water swept us away, causing us to lose track of each other. The rapid current was too much for me, and everything went dark. Soon enough, I woke up and found myself alone inside of the city's sewer system. TV woman? Can you hear me? My calls went unheard, and the TV woman was nowhere to be seen. The Dark Titan is incredibly powerful. I need to find the God Fragments before it's too late. Just then, a mutated skibbity toilet crawled by. I ducked into cover before the horrific beast was able to spot me. I don't want to be caught by that thing. Uh, tell me about it. I turned around and was startled to see a cameraman right behind me. Ah! The mutant skibbity looked towards us. My scream had accidentally given away our location. Run! 
Kevin! On days 8 through 10, the cameraman and I were chased through the sewer by the mutant skibbity monster. Soon, the two of us were cornered at a deep pit, and the monster was closing in. There was nowhere to run! We have to turn this around! I turned and faced the terrifying mutant head on with my godly powers. The beast tried to hurt me with its saw attacks, but I had another plan up my sleeve. Taste my power! I aimed my abilities at him and blasted the mutant skibbity over the edge of the pit and to his death. Sorry for scaring you, but I wanted to ask for your help. It's fine. I thought I was alone down here is all. Lead the way. I followed the cameraman back to the surface, where we found a dark skibbity factory standing in front of us. My camera allies are stuck inside. Can you help me save them? I'll do anything to help the Alliance. Just then, I heard the sound of someone screaming. I hurried ahead to help them before it was too late. On days 11 through 14, I arrived inside of the factory where the dark skibbity toilet scientist was performing experiments. Cameramen were being fed through a machine that was transforming them into dark cameramen. Soon, all of you Alliance members will bend to the will of the Dark Titan. Oh no, they won't. I ran in and unleashed a godly attack, but the dark scientist was able to evade it. Intruder, dark cameras, get him. The dark cameraman turned on me and attacked like mindless zombies. I could have won the battle, but I didn't want to hurt my own allies. Suddenly, a new ability activated within me, allowing me to conjure a cage of light around the dark cameraman. I trap them for the time being. I'll come back for you. I ran out of the room to escape, but I was ambushed by a dark titan skibbity. The god titan must die. He tackled me down, sending us both falling into a nearby trash chute. On days 15 through 17, the dark titan skibbity and I landed at the bottom of a trash chute to find ourselves inside of an incinerator. I'm not letting you toilet scum hurt more of my people. I unleashed my godly powers onto him and he fought back with his fire attacks. He was tough, but I was determined to win. This fight is pointless. You're going down with me. Suddenly, things started to heat up as fire appeared all around the room. The incinerator was turning on. I need to get out of here. I tried to escape, but with the dark tank skibbity in my way, it was impossible. I managed to use my powers to cause rubble to collapse onto the dark tank skibbity, trapping him in place. I took my chance to escape the incinerator just as the room was completely engulfed in flames. The dark titan skibbity was burnt to a crisp. On days 18 through 21, I made it to the heart of the facility where I found the next god fragment powering a machine. That must be what powers the factory. It's time to shut this place down. Without warning, the room trembled under my feet. Pieces of the ground were beginning to collapse into a dark pit below. Oh no, this room is trapped. Ah! I ran as fast as I could while the ground behind me continued to crumble. Luckily, I managed to reach the end of the platform to find the next god fragment waiting for me. But it was too late, as the floor collapsed under both me and the fragment, sending us both into the darkness below. Ah! In an attempt to survive, I reached for the fragment and grabbed a hold of it. Suddenly, a beam of divine light shot out from the darkness and I emerged in a new empowered form. I now had five more hearts, a set of godly wings, and an upgraded sword. It's time to save the cameraman. With my new form, I flew out of the facility. On days 22 through 25, I returned to where the cameraman I had trapped to save them. They suddenly became enraged at the sight of me and broke out of their prison. Don't worry, I'll transform you back. I then used my new godly powers on them, purging the darkness from their bodies. They all returned back to normal. Oh, what the? What happened? Don't worry about it. What matters is you're yourself again. Suddenly, dark skibbities came running after us all and I used my powers to cut several of them down. Before another wave of skibbities could arrive, we made a run for it and found a place to hide. They're around here somewhere. Keep looking. We watched as the dark skibbities scoured the area for us. Is everyone okay? I think so. But the camera woman never returned from her last mission. She went towards the amusement park. Then I'll search for her next. Stay safe, cameraman. With the cameraman's lead in mind, I flew off towards the amusement park. When I arrived, I found the place had already been twisted by darkness. I moved in closer to find that the camera woman was tied to the tracks. A cart was heading straight towards her. Ah! On days 26 through 28, I was flying towards the trapped camera woman. The cart was racing towards her at high speed, but just before it could hit her, I launched a godly attack at the roller coaster tracks, causing it to crumble and divert the cart to the ground. 
Whoa, that was close. Are you okay? I'm fine now, thanks. But I think you left this roller coaster in bad shape. The whole roller coaster began to tremble, causing it to collapse around us. My plan to save the camera woman had backfired. Hang on, we won't die here. Just before the ride fell under our feet, I grabbed the camera woman and I leaped towards the ground. Look out above! I acted quickly and activated a new power, creating a shield of light to protect the two of us. That could have gone better. Feels like my powers just made that situation worse. If only the other titans were here. Don't say that. Your powers are the reason I'm alive. What were you doing out here anyway? I was searching for the TV woman when I got trapped here. She's in trouble. Then we better keep moving before she's hurt. With the camera woman at my side, we pressed onwards in search of the TV woman. On days 29 through 32, we came across an area of the city that had been corrupted by the Dark Titan's evil. The plant life had become overgrown and there was a dark, distorted feeling in the air. Let's move with caution. I don't like the looks of this. Watching each other's backs, we headed deeper into the corrupted area. As we traversed, the camera woman was suddenly pulled upwards by an unknown force. I looked up and saw that she had been caught in dark spider webs. Hey, how'd you get up there? That would be my doing. <laughs> The dark spider skibbity quickly crawled away, but I didn't pursue it. I had to help the camera woman. Ah, get me down from here! I flew up and tried to free her by breaking the web apart, but she was sinking deeper and deeper. This isn't good. You need to find a dark spider fang to break me out of here. It's the only thing that'll break these dark webs. I'm on it. I took to the skies in search of the dark spider fang. I kept a sharp eye out for it until I spotted the dark spider skibbity toilet crawling towards a cave. Is that spider skibbity? Skibbity again. I'll bet he has a lead. I landed outside the cave and entered it, tailing the dark spider Skibbity. On days 33 through 35, I traveled into the cave and saw that the walls were covered in black webs with speaker men stuck in them. I had found the dark spider Skibbity's nest. Turn back. Boom. This place is creepy. I made my way deeper into the cave until I found the heart of the nest. There, I saw the dark spider fang I was seeking. There it is! I reached out for it, but wasn't being careful enough as the webbing trapped my feet in place. My legs were stuck! No! It's just out of reach! Suddenly, corrupted dark speaker spiders came crawling towards me. I need a break free! Without that dark spider fang, I'm helpless! I slowly crept through the webs towards the fang as the swarm of spiders got closer. Almost there! Before the dark speaker spiders could get to me, I managed to grab the fang just in time. Got it! I used the dark spider fang to cut my way out of the webs and then proceeded to take all the speaker spiders down using my godly powers. As I unleashed my attacks upon the spiders, I created a lot of commotion. Just then, the dark spider skibbity appeared behind me. You're a persistent one, but just like your friend, you won't be escaping any web that I weave. On days 36 through 39, the dark spider skibbity was coming straight for me. With the camera woman in danger, I didn't have time to fight him, so I ran for it. As I ran away through the cave, I started cutting the speaker men free. As I freed the last speaker man from the webs, the dark spider skibbity started to gain on me again. Everyone, charge! The speaker men attacked, keeping the spider at bay as I exited the cave and took to the skies. I returned to where the camera woman was being held and saw that she was about to be completely consumed by the dark webs. Hang on! I used the dark spider fang to slash her free, saving her in the nick of time. Whew, that was close. Uh, I definitely have arachnophobia now. As we composed ourselves, the speaker men came running towards us. Thank goodness we caught up. The TV woman is in trouble. Take me to her! The speaker men led me to a cocoon of dark spider webs. The TV woman was trapped somewhere inside. I ran to the cocoon and started trying to break her out, but the dark spider skibbity showed up to stop me. Nowhere to run this time. I thought you guys killed him. Bruh, are we looking at the same monster right now? We ran, same as you did. Well, I'm done running from this thing. You're going down. On days 40 through 43, the dark spider skibbity and I were locked in a deadly fight. 
It fired its web attacks at me, landing a direct hit and knocking me back through the sky. I retaliated with my divine sword slash, but it was able to scurry out of the line of fire. Let me out of here. I can help you. Roger that. I used the dark spider fang to slash the cocoon open and free the TV woman. Once she broke free, she tossed me the next god fragment. Take this. Hurry. I picked it up and felt my strength grow as I gained five hearts and new powers. Taste the wrath of the god titan. I unleashed my new powers, hitting the dark spider skibbity over and over, giving it no chance to retaliate. With my new abilities, I defeated it easily. Thanks for rescuing me. Clearly, these godly powers are in the right hands. Just as I thought things were beginning to wind down, the speaker woman emerged from the shadows. Kill. Kill the god titan. Something was wrong. She had been corrupted. She sprinted towards us full speed. Look out. On days 44 through 46, the dark speaker woman was running at us, going in for a surprise attack. But the TV woman trapped her before she was able to reach me. No, the dark corruption got to her. Can we save her? Hmm. Long ago, a series of artifacts were used to banish this kind of corruption. A sort of antivirus. Perhaps, if you find them again, we can purify these darkened souls. Okay, where are they? The TV men managed to obtain their locations. Here, take this map. Perhaps you'll have better luck finding the artifacts than they did. The TV woman handed me the map she mentioned. I picked it up and set out to find the antivirus artifacts that could destroy this corruption. The first artifact I needed was located at the top of a mountain. I flew towards the location with my wings, quickly finding the first item at the peak and claiming it without any problems. One down, two more to go. Suddenly, the mountain peak began to tremble beneath me as a swarm of dark skibbity toilets appeared and began to surround me. I unleashed my new godly attacks on them, knocking several of them off the mountain. I continued to kill the toilets one by one, but several of my attacks struck the mountain peak behind me, causing an avalanche. The skibbities got caught up in the disaster and were quickly buried. Well, that was convenient. Thanks, mountain. As I walked down the mountain, I noticed a cave at the base of the mountain. I entered the cave, sure I would find something useful inside. On days 47 through 50, I ventured into the cave and came upon a giant pool of water. On a platform in the center of the water was the second antivirus artifact I needed. I flew towards the pool, but stopped when I spotted a headless toilet out of the corner of my eye. I should have known this artifact would be guarded. Who are you? Why, I'm Kevin, everyone's favorite character. That over there is my thingamajig. Uh, would you share it with me? Well, of course. Kevin always shares with his new friends. I watched as Kevin retrieved the artifact for me and handed it over. You're really not like the other toilets, are you? Thanks, Kevin. This is just what I needed to save the speaker woman. Too bad you'll never get to use it. Suddenly, a dark toilet skibbity emerged from the water. I had walked right into its domain. He fired a water attack at me that knocked me back. I circled the pool he attacked me from, fighting back with my own godly titan attacks. It was clear that we were matched in strength. Ah, I don't think I need to be here for this. You are strong, but can you escape this? The dark water skibbity took control of the water around him, transforming nearby blocks into magma, causing me to get dragged down towards the center. I tried to fight against the force pulling me in, but it was too strong and I was sucked down into the darkness out of the water. No, no! On days 51 through 54, the whirlpool sucked me down into a tank of water inside a skibbity toilet lab. Standing outside the tank was the dark scientist skibbity. So good to see you again. You may have guessed by now, but we're going to drown you and end all of this. <laughs> The dark side to Skibbity left the room, leaving me to slowly lose oxygen inside the water tank. Wow, friend, you don't look so good. As someone without a head, air ain't so important for me. Although I do love fresh air in the springtime when it's- We have to get out of here. In order to escape the water and Kevin, I smashed the tank with my sword, allowing me to break free before my oxygen could run out. As I made my way towards the exit, I spotted the final item needed to cure the speaker woman. There it is. 
I need to move quickly. She doesn't have much time. I picked the artifact up immediately and ran for the nearest exit. Wait, are you leaving so soon? Did I remember to say that I'm Kevin? After escaping the lab, I returned to where the TV woman and corrupted speaker woman were. She had set up a temporary base of operations. I have all three artifacts. Will it be enough to cure the speaker woman? Only one way to find out. Hand him to me. I gave the three artifacts to the TV woman and watched as she set them up in a specific order. Before my eyes, they fused into one. When the TV woman used the cure on the speaker woman, she was restored back to her normal state. The cure worked. <laughs> wow. Well, that stuff really works. You did it, TV woman. Good work. Don't get excited yet. We got incoming. Before we could celebrate, a dark electric skibbity dropped in behind us. The Dark Titan has sent me to end you. A panic die, God Titan. On days 55 through 57, we are being attacked with a dark electric skibbity. He aimed his electric attacks at the TV woman, but I ran in front of her and took the hits. I fought back with my God Titan attacks, sending him flying back. Not bad, but can you take this? He unleashed a powerful zap attack onto me, jolting my body and freezing me in place. Unable to fight back, the dark electric skibbity closed in on me. Catch! Catch! The speaker woman ran in and tossed me the next god fragment. When I picked it up, I gained five new hearts and new powers. Witness my real strength. I used my new abilities to turn the tide of battle and wound the dark electric skibbity, leaving him on the brink of death. If I'm going down, I'm taking you in, mate! As I landed the killing blow on the dark electric skibbity, he ripped open a portal in space-time. The TV woman and speaker woman were able to hold on, but I was sucked through. On days 58 through 61, the opposite end of the dark electric skibbity's portal spat me out into a dark realm. The area was bleak and lifeless. Oh no, this entire realm has been corrupted. Soon enough, the fearsome Dark Titan emerged before me. So, we meet again, my nemesis. You, what is this place? This is my realm of darkness. Soon I will merge it with the rest of the world. Not while I'm around to stop you. That's why I'm going to finish this now. The Dark Titan lunged forward, unleashing a heavy blade attack. The force of the blows destroyed the ground around me and dealt heavy damage on my Titan body. It was clear that I would need to be careful if I was going to stand a chance. I flew above the Dark Titan and fired several godly projectile attacks down at him. Soon, he flew up to face me at my level and we traded several blows back and forth in the sky. Despite having the power of the god fragments on my side, it was clear that his strength was superior to mine. You can't stop me! This realm will consume all! He struck me with a heavy blow, sending me crashing back down into the ground and summoning a horde of void tentacles on me. I escaped the attack and was forced to run, but he pursued me from the air. I thought that I lost him, but when I turned a corner, he was waiting for me. Ah, what the? I flew in another direction, only to find him waiting for me around another corner. In this realm, he was everywhere at once. Running out of options, I found myself facing a bottomless pit. I had no idea where it led, but there was nowhere left for me to run to. Here goes nothing. I jumped off the cliff, unsure where I would land. On days 62 through 64, I landed at the bottom of the pit. I had ended up in some kind of dark, corrupted cavern. What is this place? Suddenly, I was approached by a group of dark pit skibbities. I've never seen a titan like you before. You'll be a nice change of pace from the others. Wait, what do you mean others? The toilets closed in on me. There were too many for me to fight all at once. But before they could inflict serious damage, a giant hammer swung down and crushed them all. It was the titan cameraman. You're alive? You're alive! Yes, I am alive. During our fight with the Dark Titan, he transported us here. Since then, we've been trapped, forced to fight endless dark skibbity hordes. The Titan Speaker Man and Cinema Man are too far from here. Well, I appreciate the backup. Let's show these skibbities the power of a Titan duo. I teamed up with the Titan Cameraman as more skibbities arrived. Using my smiting attacks to back him up, together we destroyed wave after wave of dark skibbities. But no matter how many we tore through, they seemed to just keep coming. Do you know a way out of here? When we were transported here, we were cursed, Max. 
The Titans cannot leave, but you can. I'm not just gonna leave you guys here! Find your way to the Clock Dimension. There's a corrupted portal there that needs cleansing. Remove its darkness, and we'll be able to escape through it. Go! We'll cover you. The Titan cameraman continued his onslaught and cleared a path, allowing me to escape from the fight. After some flying, I quickly spotted a portal above me and flew straight for it. Here goes nothing. When I came out the other end, I was in the clock dimension. Phew. Now to find this corrupted portal the Titans were talking about. Halt! I looked down and found that I was being confronted by a group of clock men. Start talking. How did you get here and who are you? Wait, I can explain. Between days 65 and 67, I was being confronted by the chief clock man. I'm not from this dimension. I was sent here by the Titans. I'm with the Alliance. The Alliance? Well then, let's make a deal. We'll send you back to your dimension if you help us destroy the portal that spread darkness across our world. That must be the portal the Titan cameraman mentioned. I'll help you. With the deal made between us, the Chief Clockman led me to the original source of the corruption. I found myself faced with a menacing dark portal, the same one keeping the Titans trapped. If you can subdue the darkness coming from this portal, then the mutations should stop. Let me try. I used my light powers on the portal, but I wasn't strong enough. The dark powers of the portal resisted and knocked me back. Suddenly, the area trembled around us as the Titan Clockman emerged from the portal. He had been corrupted by the Dark Titan. Must destroy the Alliance. He used his Dark Clock attacks on me. Despite my upgrades, his hits were devastating. I tried to fight back with my own godly attacks, but my light powers weren't enough to snuff out his darkness. The Dark Titan charged at me, ready to deliver the final blow. Just then, the Chief Clockman stopped time, rewinding him before the Titan Clockman emerged from the portal. Find the Clockwoman! She'll know how to fix this! There was no more I could do, so I escaped while the Chief Clockman engaged with the Titan Clockman. On days 68 through 72, I was flying through the skies of the Clock Dimension in search of the Clockwoman. Eventually, I came across her fighting off Dark Magnet Skibbities. There she is! I landed beside her, joining in the fight and using my God Titan powers to take out the remaining toilets. But the fight was far from over as the Dark Magnet Skibbity leader suddenly ambushed us. He flew towards our position, aiming to land a deadly blow. Look out! The Clock Woman rewound time, sending the Dark Magnet Skibbity leader back the way it came and saving me. Whoa! Thanks! Now let's wrap this up. He's still coming! I unleashed my light attacks, hitting the Dark Magnus Gibbity leader repeatedly and dropping him to the ground. The Clock Woman ran in and got a few good hits in as well. The Magnet Boss became enraged and began to send huge waves of electromagnetic energy our way. But I was determined to win and dodged the attacks. The Clock Woman supported me with her own sharpshooter abilities and we bounced back with our combined strength. With one final blow, we took down the Dark Magnus Gibbity leader for good. Thanks for saving me back there. Pretty sure you saved me. Either way, we need backup. The Titan Clockman had been corrupted, and the Chief is in danger. We need to purify that portal somehow. I know who can help. Come with me. On days 73 through 75, I was following the Clock Woman. Soon, she led me to an area full of drill men. These are our allies, the drill men. They'll help you find the next guard fragment you need. It should help you purify that portal and start an end to the corruption. A large drill man then stepped forward, ready to aid me in my journey. I will carve a path for you, God Titan. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. I teamed up with the large drill man and he began to drill an underground route for me. He dug us deeper and deeper until we broke through into an old rocket launch area lost to time. This is as far as I can take you. Good luck, God Titan. My new ally left and I ventured further into the large room. As I searched around, I soon found the next god fragment waiting inside. There it is! I went to grab it until a diamond titan dropped down to protect it. Have you come for the fragment? I have. Hand it over! I am the guardian of this god fragment. Only if you can best me in combat may you claim it for yourself. 
the Guardian quickly closed the distance between us and attacked me. We traded blows back and forth, and I could tell that he was highly skilled with years of experience. I would have to be smart in order to keep up with him in battle. I dodged out of the way of his diamond attacks and dealt a ton of damage with my mighty sword attack. I followed this up with several more god beam attacks until he was defeated. You are worthy, god titan. With the battle done, I moved over to the god fragment and picked it up, gaining five more hearts and new powers. Time to save these titans. On days 76 through 79, I returned to the dark portal where the titan clockman was still engaged in combat with the chief clockman. I could tell just by looking the chief clockman had taken a beating and wouldn't be able to hold out much longer. Hey, pick on someone your own size. Must destroy the god titan. The titan clockman attacked me, but thanks to the new fragment, I was able to endure his attacks and fight back more effectively. Seeing an opening, I unleashed my new god ray attack, doing significant damage to the titan clockman and forcing him back. I had managed to hit him hard enough to put him in a daze. I know they're still good in you. Fight the Dark Titan's control! In trying to get through the Titan Clockman, I left myself open. The Titan Clockman unleashed a surprise time burst attack. But before the next deadly hit could land, the Chief Clockman pushed me out of the way and took the hit instead. Chief! No! I then blasted the most powerful god attack I could muster, causing the Titan Clockman to snap out of his dark trance. What? What have I done? Ugh, it's not your fault. You weren't in control. Just save our world. Save both of our worlds, Max. The Chief Clockman succumbed to his wounds and died, dropping his pocket watch. Honoring his wishes, I used my enhanced light abilities to purify the portal, eliminating the darkness from the clock dimension. He would have wanted you to have his watch. Take it, and good luck. I picked up the Chief's pocket watch, granting me the power to use Clockman abilities. Ready to save my own people, I passed through the portal to return to my own dimension. On days 80 through 83, I returned to my home dimension, only to find that it was engulfed in shadow. The darkness. What happened? It must have spread while I was gone. I walked around the battlefield to find the TV woman and speaker woman were dead on the ground. No, this can't be right. I couldn't have been gone that long. Suddenly, waves of dark skibbities rushed towards my position to take me down. To give me more time to think, I took flight so the toilets couldn't reach me. Does this mean I lost? The Titan cameraman said that purifying the portal would free the Titans. Where are they? I can't fix this all by myself. Just then, the pocket watch glowed in my inventory. I pulled it out and remembered I had Clockman powers. But I have to try. I used my new powers to rewind time back before the darkness took over. My allies were alive again. Are you guys okay? God Titan, where did you come from? I used the Clockman's power to rewind time. The battle that's coming your way isn't going to end well. We need to run. The TV base is secure. We can lie low there. Sounds good to me. Let's move out. My allies and I then retreated before we could lose a second time. As we traveled, we found ourselves traversing an old, unstable bridge. Are you sure this is the safest way to go, God Titan? Well, since you guys aren't able to fly, this route seemed to be the fastest way to go. Suddenly, the bridge started to shake and pieces of it began to crumble. Run faster! The TV and speaker woman ran as fast as they could before they could be consumed by the crumbling bridge. On days 84 through 86, my allies and I made it to the TV base to hide from the dark corruption. Thanks for saving us. But it's clear that the Dark Titan is getting stronger by the day. If I can find the last God Fragment, I might stand a chance. But we're out of leads. We have no idea where it could be. Just then, one of my TV men allies was killed by a random projectile. We looked over to see a large dark skibbity coming towards us. Oh no! Everyone brace yourselves! I flew in and engaged the large dark skibbity in combat. I used my godly attacks on him, but it seemed to be heavily armored and my attacks didn't do much damage. Dang it! These guys are prepared for everything! I didn't let the skibbity's durability deter me and continued unloading godly light attacks into it. But it barely seemed to feel a thing and retaliated with laser attacks. I thought the god titan would be stronger than this. You're nothing compared to the others. The large dark skibbity landed a heavy plunger punch on me, launching me back. 
Before I could get back into the fight, it turned its attention to my allies, gunning down multiple TV men. It wasn't done yet, as he began closing in on the TV woman and speaker woman for a killing blow. Look out! Before I could reach them, the large dark skibbity was hit by a massive attack and fell. I looked up and felt my hope return as I saw the three titans standing there. On days 87 through 89, I was standing before the three titans who had just returned to this world. You're all back! Indeed, thanks to your efforts. What kept you guys? I got back here before you did. As much as we wanted to return immediately, there was something we had to find first. Cinema Man, if you would... Cinema Man? The Cinema Man didn't say a word. Suddenly, he turned towards the Titans and sliced them off the edge. He then turned to me and fired off his attacks. What's wrong with him? Being in the Dark Titan's realm for so long has corrupted him. Then I'll purify him like I did the portal. I circled the Titan Cinema Man, dodging his attacks and gradually getting in closer. When I finally got close enough, I unleashed my purifying light, ridding him of the Dark Titan's corruption. I, I can't believe I let his corruption get to me. It's okay, you're back. And with your help, we'll make sure his darkness never hurts anyone ever again. Right. Thank you, Max. Here. The Titan Cinema Man dropped a map and radio, which I quickly picked up. This map was hidden deep in the Dark Titan's realm. It leads to the final God Fragment. Once you find the location, use the radio to contact us. Aren't you coming with me? We must rest for now. We've been fighting non-stop in the Dark Realm. This is quite the lead. But are you sure I can do this? I know for certain you can. You are the combination of all the Titans' greatest strengths. You can win this war. We believe in you. Thank you. All of you. The Dark Titan may be powerful, but there's a reason he had to resort to sending the other Titans away in order to get this far. Giving the Titans some time to rest, I followed the directions on the map. On days 90 through 92, I followed the directions on the map and arrived at a familiar location. This is where we first fought the Dark Titan. I placed down the radio so the Titans could talk to me. Take a look around. Try to find something that wasn't there before. I explored the area and found some kind of monument. There were five differently colored pedestals. What could this be? If you spotted the pedestals, maybe you can place the fragments on them to summon the final fragment. Oh, that's a good idea. I placed down the five fragments I had collected during my journey. There was a bright white flash, and when it faded, the final fragment had appeared before me. Good job, Max. Now, grab it. I ran towards the fragment, but before I could reach it, a dark water skibbity from before dropped down in front of me. <laughs> we meet again, God Titan. This is mine now. The dark water skibbity grabbed the fragment, transforming it into a much larger dark water skibbity. I'm here to prepare this world to merge with the Dark Titan's realm. That can't happen while you're interfering. Prepare to fall to my new power. The dark water skibbity came at me, and I prepared for battle. On days 93 through 95, I was clashing with the empowered skibbity in an effort to take the final fragment back from him. I was incredibly strong, but with the last fragment's power on his side, the dark water skibbity was able to keep up. He launched powerful water attacks at me that hit hard, but I nailed him with a sword slice attack for massive damage. It's time for you to give that fragment back. I charged the dark water skibbity, landing a series of finishing blows which took him down for good, causing him to drop the fragment. I picked it up, getting five new hearts and new powers. The Dark Titan better prepare himself. As I spoke his name, the Dark Titan appeared, emerging from the shadows before me. You may have gathered all the god fragments and brought the Titans back, but it's too late. I'm bringing the Dark World to this one now. The Dark Titan opened a massive portal, summoning his army of Dark Skibbities and unleashing them onto me. Oh no, I better get out of here return with an army of my own. I retreated before I could be consumed by the army. On days 96 through 98, I reunited with my allies at the TV base. I got the final fragment. I knew you could do it. It's not over yet. The Dark Titan just released what's left of his army all at once. Good thing you've got an army of your own. Yeah! 
right? We'll take care of the small fry so you can face the Dark Titan. Thanks, guys. Let's finish this. In the name of the Chief Clockman and the Alliance, we all let out a battle cry and prepared for the final battle. On day 99, I returned to where the Dark Titan's army was with an army of my own. Onward, everyone. Attack! We jumped into the fray, fighting as one to fend off the Dark Toilets. As the Alliance army met the Dark Titan's army head on, I backed them up with my own godly light attacks, giving us an advantage. The other Titans and TV men gave it their all, taking out a good amount of toilets during the battle. With the aid of my allies, I was able to push through the army and reach the Dark Titan's portal. I tried to enter, but it was sealed by a force field. I tried to smash it, but it was no use. Suddenly, I heard the Dark Titan's voice through the portal taunting me. <laughs> You're wasting your time. Not even a Titan can break through this. <laughs> You're right, but you didn't count on me having the strength of four Titans, did you? I unleashed more attacks against the force field. With the power I had gained on my journey, I was strong enough to destroy it. No! No, Max! With the force field destroyed, I flew into the portal, ready to face him Titan to Titan. On day 100, I flew through the other side of the portal and was face to face with the Dark Titan. You've become stronger, but my darkness will consume all! The light of the God Titan can't be snuffed out! I charged into battle and unleashed my godly light attacks. Everything was on the line. The fight would decide the ultimate winner of the Skibbity War. We traded blows back and forth, both of us giving it our all. The fragments allowed me to withstand attacks that would have previously drained my hearts. He shot at me with his red screen attack, but I dodged his projectile and retaliated with a swift ball of light attack of my own, damaging the Dark Titan and turning the tide of the fight in my favor. If I can't merge the Dark Realm with this one, then I'll just have to trap you there forever. The Dark Titan conjured a black hole, the same kind that had cursed the three Titans here before. I tried to keep myself planted, but the pull of the black hole was too strong. I was getting sucked in. I can stop this! I used my godly light to purify the black hole. This caused it to disappear, saving me from being confined to the Dark Realm forever. How? How do you keep resisting my corruption? Because the strength of a Titan is a light that shines through even your darkness. I charged the Dark Titan, attacking him with all I had. I landed devastating blows on him, weakening him further and further. It's time to fulfill my destiny. Wanting to end this once and for all, I unleashed my purifying light attack as the Dark Titan released his red screen attack. Our powers collided between us as we both tried to overpower the other. <laughs> I put every ounce of strength I had into this final attack and was able to push through the Dark Titan's power and strike him down for good. The Dark Titan's corruption was no more. We had saved the day and won the war.